Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Olympus Craft. I'm quite excited. Our friend Fuzzy is back in town. He's been moving, so it's nice to see him online again. And generally the server is a lot more live these days. I think people were away for the holidays during the summer, but everyone seems to be back now and yeah, there's a lot going on. Now plenty to be done this episode, but first of all, I think we need to do something. We need to check in with our good old friend, Max Leach. A few episodes ago, we gave him the job of investigating the mysterious structures that have been appearing throughout the server. So hopefully he has got some news for us. Let's see. The name is Max Leach. While working on my latest case, two things have become obvious. Firstly, the case of the buildings that appear in the wrong dimension for some reason is a difficult one. Secondly, my class in coming up with cool names for cases is not working. I visited the location of the appearances. The end city in the desert stood tall in the desert. It looked out of place like a dolphin trying to blend in at your local nursery. They may look like a baby, but the flippers give them away. You can quote me on that. The nether village was eerie. Its inhabitants were horrendously deformed, with noses so large I originally thought it was a village of sentient noses. The noses were so big that I feared a sneeze would cause an earthquake. They were so large that a man could walk up a nostril and enter a space the size of a small apartment. In fact, there is probably a second village of people with slightly smaller noses, living in the noses of each of the people who lived in the nether village. Anyway, they were of no help. I decided to go for a walk, got lost and ended up in some old city. I was looking for some pastries from the local bakery. They do some lovely blueberry muffins which are to die for. Are muffins pastries or are they bread? How does one categorise muffins? Is the difference between bread and pastry based on consistency or ingredients? Maybe pastries are butter in them? What, what's a scone? Is it scone? Is it scone? So many questions and yet so little answers. Anyway, the ancient city was a great find. If an evil person lived anywhere, it would be here. I looked around and found traces of crazy experiments, diabolical tests and other scary words. Then I saw it. As square as a square with two longer sides, a portal of some kind adorned the center of the room. I approached it slowly because I had peed my pants a tiny little bit. I took out a flint and steel and lit it. From another world, a figure emerged. Are you the one who has been moving structures into different dimensions? No. Ah, that, that's my bad. I, I may have accidentally kidnapped you. Sorry. Fantastic. It seems like he's now kidnapped someone. I guess I should go and help out this poor person who's trapped in our world. Hello. I'm over here. Come through the donut. Oh, okay. Hello. Hi. Hello and welcome to Olympus Craft. I've had a chat with my friend and he said that you're a bit lost. So uh, I figured I'd show you around. Y your friend kidnapped me essentially and told me that I have to pay him money so that he sends me back. Yeah, that sounds like him to be honest. Uh, not me. I'm a different person. Um, but uh, yeah, it sounds like him. Sorry about that. Um, but look, it's lovely. What is that? Oh, that's the giant, thing? giant beacon into the sky to summon my lost population. It's, it's a long story. I'm, I'm an alien, that, I think. Could that kind of technology help me? Probably not. Probably not. Oh. Probably not. If I'm being honest. Steal it. The, wait, what? What did you just say? No, nothing. Uh, no. Okay. It looks nice. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, I tell you what, I've got a bit of a deal for you if you would like. A deal? Yeah, yeah. I happen to own some property now, um, and I'll be willing to rent it out to you. Uh, you see this lovely giant witch's hat? Now, ignore the cobwebs. Um, so, yeah, there you go. This is a, a lovely space. Uh, it comes with a few bits and bobs as well, which uh, <laughs> I'm sure you're welcome to take. Um, but yeah, if you would like, this is a, a house all free for you uh, for the cheap price of 10 diamonds per month. Are you and your friend in cahoots? I mean, you, you, mm, my, your friend kidnaps me. I wouldn't call him a friend. Rent I, to me. I would call him, um, 
he's not he's not our friend. <laughs> let's just let's just put that out. He he's a weird person who sometimes appears and helps me out with stuff. Uh okay, cool. That's all good. Um lovely to chat with you. I will leave you to get acquainted to your new life. Uh forget about your life. It's all gone. It's not important anymore. This is your life now. Good luck. So yeah, excellent. I am now a landlord and uh, I'll be getting some diamonds every month, which is quite nice. I wonder how many other houses I can rent out. Hmm. I guess that's a question for another day. Because today I wanted to give you a bit of an update on some of the things that I have been doing. I've been doing a lot of grinding off camera and I thought I would show you what I've done. Now, first of all, uh, we've got the boat race. Now, I kind of put this on hold for a long time, but I definitely want to finish this because it's going to be a lot of fun. I said I was going to do a whole road underground as well, and that's exactly what I've done down here. You can see I've cleared out an entire area and I've put in a load of ice at the base of it. Not only do we have this very big room, which is going to be quite chaotic, but we've also got this... Uh, swindly path all the way around uh, i've got an idea of a theme i want to use here um which is going to be like a jungle underground jungle now in addition to this i've also dug out this big hole here if you're around last season you remember that near the end of the season i made some kind of underground arena thing which was a load of fun and we wanted to do it again so this is what it's going to be. I like starting new projects. I don't know if you realized and um, not very good at finishing old projects. But no, we're definitely going to work on. Oh, we're definitely going to work on the boat race today. And uh, in order to do that, I think I'm going to need a whole load of moss. So I think the first thing I should do is uh, work on a moss farm. So here is the moss farm. It's working uh, pretty good, I think. Uh, it's self-sustaining, which is nice. It's, uh, it's a really good design, actually, uh, by Dusty Dude. I've actually put in a bit of a sorting system here as well. So we've got moss block, more moss block, moss carpet, flowering azalea, and azalea. But this has produced all of the moss we could possibly need. And in fact, I already went ahead and started working on our boat race i've kind of redecorated this place entirely added in uh, this green uh, concrete at the bottom moss at the top and the black concrete on the ceiling which looks pretty cool but yeah i need to decorate this quite a bit i'm going to be using a good selection of kind of like jungle woody kind of blocks but <laughs> there's a lot going on today and uh, i'm actually going to be called away because there's something else happening Myself and Corey are going to meet up and fight in the Thunderdome. And the reason for that is to do with my sorting system. Now, I want to start doing some more work on this big beast of a sorting system in the next few weeks. And to do so, I need a load of resources. And specifically, I need an absolute load of shulker boxes. So what I was going to do is try and get a good deal from uh, the boys at the, at the shulker shop, Corey and Fuzzy, um, so that I can uh, fill this really easily. So they quoted me for 1,200 shulker shells. They quoted me 30 diamond blocks, which is a good amount of blocks. I have gone mining to have that. But Corey suggested that if I beat him in the Thunderdome, he would give me a discount. And uh, I'm currently the undefeated champion of the Thunderdome. So uh, yeah, why not? Let's do it um the target shooting game that's yeah like tucked in the side of the far end yeah i saw it in the distance is that ready to go i didn't really it's ready for alpha testing so how this works i've got the shulker box in the middle here the gray one yeah set up with your uh, wait, I'll give you time basically well, actually. this is going to be like your timer box in the future this will be like a, a predetermined kit that you'll whatever order or something from like a little kiosk over here Oh, cool. 
So, I jump so whenever into you're ready, yeah. you can hit this button back here yeah. to start the game and then jump in the minecart and basically try to hit as many targets as you can until the, the timer comes. Okay, right. I will do it now. Oh, no, that was close. Oh my god, I am... <laughs> the movement adds so much uh, yeah. <laughs> difficulty to it. You kind of have to lead yeah. it a little bit. So, so, is there any response to when I do hit a target? Does it tell me? Yep, there is. So I haven't Especially hit any. Especially if you watch the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't hit any is what you're trying to say. You have not hit any yet, no. <laughs> Come on! Okay, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna really focus on it this time. Did that do it? That no. one was close. No. Oh dear! <laughs> Come on! I'm gonna keep on on that one. I'm, I'm going two left. Oh, we got it! There you Did go. Did I get it? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I heard the noises. <laughs> oh, it's that time off. Oh yep. no! What? I've, yep. got, I've got one more. That's me. What nice. I, did, I did one, didn't I? Two. I <laughs> got one. So your score is two. <laughs> awesome. Woo -hoo. That's a lot of fun. Well done. Fuzzy. Fuzzy. Hi. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I don't even remember what <laughs> what the price was started at. It, it was 30, 30 diamond blocks. Was it going to be like a, a 10 diamond block discount if you beat me? Oh, right, I'm yeah. okay with that, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Three. Two, one, die! I'm in fight! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Just add a bit of spiciness to it. <laughs> Why not? Oh, this is getting dangerous for me! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, oh, God! <laughs> oh. This is, um. Uh, Ah, it's not good. Oh no! Yay! Oh. <laughs> that was so fast. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Look at that! A load of sugar boxes. I already started using some of them actually, because uh, I did need them for different things. And uh, yeah, the chest monster is increasing, so we'll definitely have to be working on our sorting system in the next few episodes. So, um, following my uh, my fight with Cory. I actually had to fight someone else in the Thunderdome. Today's the day in which I fight everyone in the Thunderdome, it seems like. So yeah, if you remember a few weeks ago, I went over to Fuzzy's base and flipped all of his trapdoors. And uh, he's not happy about it. So uh, I guess uh, we're going to fight him as well. This is going to be like the politest deathmatch ever. <laughs> hey, okay, do you need anything? No, no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> no, 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 you hit me first. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, three... Okay. Two, and you had to hit the bell. Three, two, one. Yeah. Ah. Don't come closer. <laughs> Stay away. Ah. <laughs> I, I'm lagging. I can't even hit you. <laughs> That's a shame. What a shame. <laughs> come. What the hell are you on? <laughs> <laughs> you're full of arrows. I can't. That's you're <laughs> like glitching everywhere. What a shame. What a shame. I mean, so are you to be Ow. fair. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Come on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Woo! I call shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole point of this. Wait, you had diamonds on you? <laughs> I had to make a new helmet. Well, thank you for the diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the rules. And with that, it is unfortunately the end of this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!